Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. 1290. That's a number, that's how many wish lists the game has right now. So those are the hard numbers. Now let's interpret that. Is that number good or bad? Am I happy or unhappy? In my announcement video, I talked about lots of stats. And in the end, after doing some math based on common numbers, I reached a nice optimistic goal of 10,000 wish lists in order to sell about a thousand copies and call the game a success. So based on that, things aren't necessarily going too well. However, I'm not too worried about it. It does seem like I might hit the lower 5k wishlist goal, which might still be enough to call the game a success. So even though I obviously wish these numbers were a bit better, I'm not too down on it. Here is the full wishlist graph. The first big spike, this one is obviously when I made the announcement video. Then I have since made three more videos related to the game. I made one where I talked about how I faked the multiplayer to record the game trailer. Then the first devlog covering a bit of progress. And finally the big devlog video, which actually did pretty well because it was my first video experimenting with a camera. You can see the total graph wishlist appear going up slowly but steadily. Each of those videos got about 10 to 15,000 views. So potentially about 10% of viewers are interested in the game. Now in this case I have no idea if that's good or bad. This is actually the first game that I'm releasing since this channel has a decent size. My last release was Battle Royale Tycoon all the way back in 2019 and back then the videos on this channel only got something like a thousand views. So I really have no idea if 10% of viewers interested in the game is good or bad since I have nothing to compare it to. Although it is interesting to note how my Total War Liberation game, that one which I delayed for next year, that one definitely got a ton more wishlist right as soon as I announced it. By now that one is actually already past the 5k mark which is really nice, so it seems like that idea might be a bit more appealing to people, which is great news for that project. When I finally get back to it next year it should do well thanks to a nice amount of wishlist. But anyways right now the focus is on Dinky Guardians. The current big deadline is the Steam Festival which is starting on the 19th. I'm trying to work as hard as I can to get a great demo done for the festival. If I can successfully build the demo that I have in my head, then I believe the festival won't be a success. And I believe I've seen some stats on how the high end for festivals is something like 10,000 wishlists. So I feel that if the game is good enough, I may be able to get, let's say, roughly about a thousand. And then if the game gets a thousand wishlists in the festival, then I believe it could get between two to three thousand until the release at the end of July, which would mean the game would launch with about five thousand wishlists, which would be a decent amount. Again, like I mentioned in the announcement video, it's very much up to you to define what success means to you. And to me, for this game, just publishing another game is one part of what I consider success. Another part is simply learning how to make these devlogs and getting better at Learning how to combine editing with some camera and some background footage. That's something that I'm in the process of learning with these videos, and so far I'd call that a personal success. And lastly, of course, success is selling a decent number of copies. Thankfully, since I live in a low cost of living country and the dev time for this game is actually pretty short, I don't actually need to sell tens of thousands of copies to break even. If I end up hitting my wishlist goal, I should be able to set the sales numbers and call this game a success. So based on that, while I do wish the number of wishlists were a bit better, I'm still happy and the journey is progressing nicely. The numbers are actually pretty decent and the game itself is actually coming along quite nicely. I would actually say it's coming along better than nicely. This past week when I was working on adding multiplayer, it was a bit tricky but I did get it done. Then I also spent a bunch of time thinking about the design, which by the way all of your answers to my design questions were super helpful, so thanks so much for that. Your comments really got me thinking in all kinds of interesting mechanics. Stay tuned for a devlog coming soon where I will talk about the process for adding multiplayer and what I hope to work on this week before the festival. I've already uploaded the initial build for review, so hopefully I should be able to get it all done in time. And I'm also enjoying this journey of trying out this new format and bring you along for a journey with these devlogs. I hope that watching this series has been interesting to you. My advice to you on this topic is actually something that I've already mentioned many times. Wishlists are extremely important in Steam nowadays, so get your Steam page up and running as quickly as you can, pretty much as soon as you have decided upon the core game idea and you have some visuals to show. Get that done and publish the coming soon page as soon as you can so you can start gathering wishlists. The longer you have that page visible, the more wishlists you'll be able to gather. So actually what I'm doing here, making a game in a few months, this one isn't technically the best option for finding massive success. But again, like I said, it's up to you to define what success means to you. In my case, my primary definition of success is simply launching this game this year. And if you're just starting out, then simply publishing a game can be considered massive success. Alright, I hope this video was informative. Go ahead and add Dinky Gardens to your wishlist if you haven't already. I'm really hoping to hit the 5k goal before the final release. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.